Hi everybody, um, it's getting very orange today and um, I start with this stem um, set. I got this I think four months ago and I never use it, um, although it's so cute. So today I wanted to change this. Um, I started to um, cut with my um, Big Shot this uh, frame and uh, the rest paper of this watercolor paper I used for stamping. I took this um, rather fine black because it's uh, waterproofed. It's because I want to uh, use my thick color brushes to color it. I stamped the fox um, two times because um, I want to um, try some different uh, colorings or colors. And um, the first fox, I start with a middle orange and a very light orange. And the um, lightest point of the fox I do with my water tank brush. Um, then I leave uh, the part around his nose white and then um, um, at the body I again took my uh, middle orange and the lightest and the um, middle part or the rest I did with my um, water tank pencil uh, brush <laughs> sorry and the second fox I started with a more orange orange it's nearly red and then I took the middlest orange and the lightest. So I have three colors and I do not need um, this um, water brush anymore because um, the whole fox is, the whole fox should be a little bit darker than the other. Um, but the technique is the same. And as you can see in this white part um, in his face, I did a little um, dirt. And um, so I took the um, water brush and dispense my color a little bit so it's a uh, very light shading in this um, area so then I had to fuzzy cut the two foxes with my little scissors it's very easy the fox is a very um, good shape for this then I took uh, this stencil it's from Create a Smile and uh, the name is Swirly I also took my Versamark um, pad and um, ink through the stencil and then um, I took my white embossing powder from WOW to um, emboss this pattern <laughs> is the word, sorry and, uh, and then I did a little mistake because um, I needed a um, dry brush to correct my ah, as you can see <laughs> I um, throw it away my um, I have so little boxes um, where I storage my um, leftover paillettes um, sequins and it falls down and uh, not for the first time <laughs> so I hate this but I um, didn't find a better solution till now but maybe now I need to find it yes and um, now the watercoloring part starts I took these Kotake um, colors and in, on Instagram I um, saw that inside of this of this cover there is a chart to um, fill in by yourself and this is what I did um, yesterday and I'm so happy now because I um, uh, found out so many new colors I didn't knew that I have these colors because uh, the red colors um, for example looks very similar to me very um, orange so um, now I found out a lot of new colors, but today I took all these uh, orange and red and red orange, and I took um, I did different layers because on the first layer, um, to dry the color took such a long time. Then you take a sheet of paper to dry it, and then you lose all these bright colors, as you can see now. So that is why I um, took an, another layer with colors. And um, because the paper is dry now, I um, put water from my little spray bottle over the paper and then um, heated it again. And this is the result. It's now good enough for me. I think um, you see this swirls very good. Yeah, and the sentiment search can begin now. I had no idea what I wanted to um, use. Um, I wanted to have a lawn for a happy birthday, but I didn't found it. So I took my uh, lawn for a happy birthday to you dye and dyed it on a dyed it, cut it in it 
um, on a black cardstock. And then I also, because this is too long for this card, so I need um, uh, additional um, sentiment. So I took uh, this happy from this, I think it's from the sweet stamp shop. Um, and this happy I emboss also on a on black cardstock, with, um, as you can see, a rosa mark and wow embossing powder. And heat embossed it, clean it. And cut it because um, I stamped not so straight um, as I wanted to stamp it, so I need to correct it with my scissor. So then I took from these uh, Happy Birthday to you only the birthday and cut it apart or cut it off. So for gluing it to the card, I use my tape runner, and this is a very special tape runner. He's very tiny, pink, and he um, rolls very easy. So he do not um, destroy these tiny little die cut. And for um, gluing, because I want to um, keep my craft mat very clean, I use these notices. Um, I bought it for only one euro in Germany. Yes, for this panel, because I have um, the watercolor made this so swirly, <laughs> I use a lot of um, tape runner. So that it's now straight on the card. Now the foxes enters the card and my glued birthday. And two things are missing now. Um, sequence and the dot from the eye. First, this, first the sequence. I use bigger ones in orange and smaller sequence in, what is it, transparent or white. I glue it with my um, multimedia mud. And um, put on the un on, on the one side I put two of this, and on the other side I put three. I think it's a good um, mixture that mixture mix ture, <laughs> that it's not so similar to um, each other. So and now I use this perler pen. It's a very cheap product from Germany, and um, for the eye dot, and I tested how liquid it is before. So I have my eye dot, and that's my finished card. I hope, I really hope you liked, I really hope you uh, forgive me my am, 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 and um, till next time, bye bye. <laughs>